A donkey ate my hat. Generally, I'd say this about the TT. It's not for me. I suppose it doesn't help that when I was two or three, I was taken to the surgery suffering from an attack of noise from roaring bikes in thick convoys tearing up the nervous roads. I suspect the doctor was madly annoyed but managed to politely avoid telling my mum the truth that I'd better get used to it and that he'd bones to mend. I feel it still, that looming timpani, that pulsating, growling fear, that screeching in the ear. Wah! Is it the bike or me? Well, speed's always been a bit alarming, apart from in a conversation when I probably outgab you all. I was raised on stop, look and listen, a big dose of caution and no harm in a watch you don't fall. Still, it's what we've been brought up with, and racers mean holidays and sitting in hedges or up on ledges, eating egg sandwiches and blocking your ears and closing your eyes when a bike goes by too close. Once, while watching at Hillbury sat up against a wall, a donkey ate my hat. Well, I must have been looking at the race after all, as I didn't notice that at the time. But only later, when we had to go, and I stood up all sticky and sun blotched, briar scratched, dead legs slow. And you remember this, Jenny, Claire? There was a fight between the donkey and my hair, and a no surrender sort of donkey that would render me bald rather than let go. No, don't laugh, I am being mauled. My poor hair, half straw hat entangled, broken, bitten, and the donkey munching, firmly slopping, spitting, and his hungry teeth close grazing by my skin, and the strained elastic going ping beneath my chin. Ow! With the chance of full retrieval, looking slim, to the donkey, half a crown. To me, the brim. Ah. Drama? Drama indeed. I watched a race while a donkey had a feed. <laughs>